Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be starting to build our firing functionality for our tank. So the way I envision this is we've got you know our tank here. So let's go ahead and bring up the tank. And we can change the position of the turret based on uh, what the user presses. And then what we want to be able to do is hit the space bar and have a shot fire. And the problem with this is we've got a tank function that really just draws the tank, doesn't necessarily fire when we press the space key. So when we press the, press the space key, that's when we fire. So first of all, we want to be able to know where the turret position is at all times, basically. And then also, um, well, that's basically it uh, that we need to modify. So let me go ahead and close out of this and, and let's get started with the changes that we want to make. And then we also need a fire function. So first of all, we have our tank function. And from there, let's go down to the very bottom of our tank function. And now we want our tank function to go ahead and return the turret position. So basically the coordinates of that turret position. Because if you recall, the turret position that we know of in our... Uh, game loop is actually just the position in this turret list. So we don't actually have access to this list. This list is basically contingent on the tank function. So what we want to do is we want to have it return those coordinates to us um, so we know where to begin the shot being fired. So basically at the end of this function we're just going to say return and then we return the possible turrets so possible turrets and then the turpos value of possible turrets whatever that value is so then when we start the firing function we know where, where the shell right starts and then we can draw you know the arc and all of that so we want to return that and we also need to return that um, basically what we're going to allow for is the user to press the space key, right? And that means fire. So in theory, the user could press the space key like really quick and we wouldn't know the turret position and all that. So in theory, what we want to do is we come down to our game loop and we want to be able we want to basically move up um, the definition of tank. So this definition here. So we're gonna move that and game display.fill, otherwise we would never fill. So we'll cut that, let's move here, paste that there. Now that they're together, let's go ahead and cut them again. And then we're gonna move up to basically, um, I guess, yeah, right here before the if statement. So we'll just paste them there. Now this function, remember, it actually now it returns uh, what we want. So the gun is now going to be uh, you've got tank equals this, and then we can know the location of the gun by just saying gun equals. And remember, tank is returning the position of the turret. So we now know the position of the gun, and we can use that uh, later on down the road. So uh, now that we have that, um, the next thing that we want to be able to do is we have that, and then we basically come down here for the key presses. So you've got all these key presses. We basically are going to ask for uh, l if event dot key equals pygame dot k underscore all caps space. What do we want to do? Well, this is our fire, so we're just going to call it fire. Um, and if they fire, and actually we'll call this fire shell, and then fire shell needs to have um, one parameter, and that is where is uh, the gun that's being fired. So we're just gonna pass through gun. Now, we don't have a fire shell function, so let's go ahead and create a shell of the fire shell function. <laughs> so we'll just come up above game intro, under barrier, and then we'll type define fire shell. And actually this has gun as a position of it. And basically, um, the fire shell and really gun is X, Y, right? And actually, it's actually X, Y. So fire shell, X, Y. 
And what is this function going to do? Well, it's basically, it's going to be like um, a lot like our pause function or a game over function where it's, it's its own little like separate sequence. And we're not going to allow anybody to move during the firing because it would be too easy to like dodge the shot. So we've got fire shell, and then we're going to have fire equals true. And then we're just going to ask, um, well, also we're going to have starting shell. That's going to be the starting location. We're just going to say it's x, y. And then we're going to say um, if they did, you know, if this function runs, let's go ahead and print fire like that. And then we'll actually run, well, we're not actually going to run anything, but um, while fire... Uh, we'll just say fire equals false for now. So it's just going to start the while loop and basically exit the while loop immediately. But soon we'll be putting in the entire animation into this. Um, so we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and save and run that and see if um, everything is, is working out at the moment. So uh, play, aim, and then we fire. So yeah, every time we press the space key, we know that our fire function is running. It's not doing anything just yet, except for storing basically the starting location. So we can say fire x y for example hit play and then come over here and then you know fire and then these are the starting coordinates 709 519 right and then that is what will you know start our gun so uh we'll go ahead and exit this for now and so hopefully you can see where we're going to keep building on this and slowly we'll have a, pretty soon actually we'll have a, a decent shell firing so that's exciting uh, so stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Um, and until next time.